what's up people today is January 25th 2013 and I am taking the time out of my evening to discuss a very relevant topic I feel in relationships which is truth in relationships um, I first want to start off by saying that I'm a very firm believer that the truth is very necessary and very relevant in relationships I feel like a truth is a truth is what actually drives a relationship and I feel like without the truth that there is always going to be a disconnect within that relationship that prevents each individual from I guess being at their fullest potential um, I do want to say also that I feel like a lot of people who are in relationships run from the truth not only do they run from the truth, it's like they, it's almost as if they believe that the, the actual truth is going to cut their relationship short or that it won't allow them to be with the person that they're trying to be with. So a lot of people generally avoid that truth in relationships. Um, when I say that I was a firm believer in the truth, I, I'm a, a firm believer in the truth when it comes down to a relationship I'm a firm believer to the extent that if I don't like the way something happened or something went down one day I'm not gonna argue about it but I'm gonna voice my pain about it and I'm gonna say how I feel about it and I expect that the person that I'm in a relationship with would do the ex exact same thing uh, I just think that sometimes you get so caught up in everyday life in a relationship that sometimes you kind of lose focus in a relationship and just things just begin to actually just happen sometimes and it's like you just keep moving on and on and on and sometimes you lose sight of why you're there for that person and why that person is there for you it's almost like you're kind of like coexisting I guess I could say But anyway, truth in relationships. I'm kind of losing, losing my train of thought right now. I got a little a cup of hot chocolate with rum in it right now, so a little hard for me to stay on topic. But as far as actually being in a relationship is concerned. Uh, I think that when you start off in the very beginning of a relationship, I feel that everything that's necessary pertaining to that relationship should be exposed at that point. Um, sometimes I, I really don't believe that it's necessary if you're in a relationship with someone. I don't think it's necessary to tell them everybody that you've had sex with and when I say truth and relationships I mean everything that existed prior to you being with that person uh, I really don't think that is necessary for that information to be divulged because that's a bond and relationship you have with someone else it has nothing to do with the person that you're with um, I, I do feel that if there's something about that relationship that affects who you are today. I do feel like you should divulge that information. That information should be shared because that affects how this person currently will have to deal with you. And I feel that telling someone who you slept with, I really don't think that that's going to really have an impact on what's going on with you. And, and unless again, and, well, and still, yeah, even if it did affect who you are today, I don't think that who that specific person is really matters in a relationship unless they have a form of a connection with the individual that you're dating. That's a different story. Um, if, you're, if you're dating someone who is associated with this person that you've been with, had sex with, and, and when I say associated, I mean like have a bond or a friendship or they hang out with each other. I do think that that information should be divulged because you should give that person the opportunity 
to say whether or not they want to be with you in a relationship based off of that information. That's something that should not come up two years down the line. That's just my personal opinion. Now, if in no way possible, I mean, it could be just somebody that you maybe see in the street and it's somebody you dated, may have messed with, whatever the case may be. I don't think that it's necessary for you to say, hey, I slept with that person because it has nothing to do with the relationship that you're in. And that's just, I mean, that's not avoiding or omitting the truth at all. I mean, because it's, it has nothing to do with your current relationship. Um, that's just a part of, I guess, truth in relationships that uh, I personally dealt with. So I felt like it was important for me to actually bring it up. But in addition to the truth in relationships, I think that your expectations for someone and what you expect out of a relationship should be doubles in the beginning also. Because there's a lot of people that get in relationships and a year later they're like, I didn't expect this or I didn't want this or I didn't know that you were looking forward to this. I didn't know you wanted kids. I didn't know you wanted a house. I didn't know you wanted any of these things. I mean, I didn't know that you wanted to paint your living room purple and that's just something I can't live with. I just feel like all of these things should actually be, I guess, exposed in the beginning. And that goes back to getting to know who you're dating as well. I'm like, uh, if you're going to be with somebody, you should know a little bit more about them than the fact that you're attracted to them. Than to than the, the actual fact that I mean I'm losing train of thought, <laughs> but you should know a little bit more about the fact that you're attracted to them. And you think that they're sexy or they're cute or attractive or whatever the case may be. There has to be a little bit more you know about them, or the sex is good. Um, but. Uh, As far as truths are concerned, I, I originally in the beginning I was saying about truth, I was just saying how people can't really handle or accept the truth. And I just really feel like there are a lot of people who exist or allow relationships to exist and they avoid the truth. They look at signs that they know that it's like deep down they know this shit ain't right. And they will continue on without question, just coexisting and living and dating and investing so much of themselves into something. And they're, they know deep down that this isn't right or that this person doesn't really care as much as I do. Or there's just something that just is not right or missing about the situation. And they will continue to coexist and live and date and invest more of their energy and life into an individual. And... They know that it's not 100%. It's not... It's not what... They're going to, I guess, be happy with in the end. And I really feel like people should really take a lot of time to get to know their partner. And I think that if there are things that bother you about someone, or if there's... A huge hang up that you have about the situation that you feel like you can't get past it should either be dealt with or you should move on with your life um, it's a lot of people who get into relationships and all of a sudden the fact that their their partner doesn't like to go to the movies with them or they don't like to spend quality time or they don't communicate or uh, they don't like to spend time with their family or they don't invest time in gifts or they don't in invest a lot of time in the things that you want to do and it's a lot of people who get in relationships and it's annoying actually to hear people who are in relationships who feel that way because it's like you knew this person since day one and I'm sure while you were getting to know them, you knew this. So all of a sudden now, 10 years later, you're dating this person and they still don't want to do that shit. But now all of a sudden it's an issue to you. 
and all of a sudden now you have a problem with it and you want to break up with them and leave them and generally the person who in the beginning they were straight up and up front with you they were just who they were but all of a sudden now you want something else I think people like that are fucking idiots that's just my opinion I really do um, <laughs> it's like you see everything everything is spilled out and before your eyes but you're investing year after year for whatever your motive is to be with this person you're investing year after year to be with this person and all of a sudden now all of these issues exist and you're tired of it sounds like you're crazy that's really what it sounds like to me I feel like if you're going to be in a relationship like that and you're going to have all these hangups about these issues and you know them originally you gotta learn to deal with that shit if you love that person enough to actually be with them and invest all this time you need to find another way around that another way and threatening to break up with them and, and telling them that their mother's a fucking whore and a slut and, and arguing and throwing their shit out the front door all of that shit is just stupid because you knew what you had and that's just like women who had doubts about things that they saw and there were all these unanswered questions and they didn't get calls back at night and they're asking all these questions and there's so much doubt and then six, seven years down the line, you catch some shit or find some shit, like you catch something, a message pop up on the phone and then you're just sitting there looking like, where did that come from? And you knew where it came from because you saw it. <laughs> you saw it, it was right before your eyes for years and you ignored it for your own selfish reasons. So. I just really think that people should be a little bit more truthful with themselves. I think that's the most important part of being in a relationship. Be truthful with who you are. Be truthful with what your expectations are in a relationship and what you expect out of a person. And if you're expecting an unrealistic thing, I just feel like you should not, you should not waste someone else's time. And allow them to believe that they are actually what you want. Because that's unfair. And then in the end, you waste so many years of your life and of another individual's life because of something unrealistic that you wanted for yourself selfishly. And then you realize that you don't want that anymore. And it's stupid. It really is. When you could have been by yourself and been with the person that you really thought you should be with. Someone that you could at least live with and know that there's something that will allow you to be with this person for a long period of time. I just really think that you should really invest a little bit more time. People should invest a little bit more time in the truth of what they really want out of life and out of a relationship because it's really, really, really stupid to waste your time. And I see it every day. I see people waste their time every day. <laughs> every day. And I really think that it's unfair for people to have to go through that. But that's the cruel reality of this world, I guess, that we live in. And I think that the whole point of me sitting here and saying this is not because I'm trying to fix the world. But, shit, I got a fucking blog. I mean, I'm here to talk about shit. So what I want to talk about today. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about today. But, people, be real with yourself. Be real about your expectations and what you want from people. And then in turn, you'll save a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of heartache, a lot of stress, definitely a lot of stress, a lot of headache, a lot of money, because a lot of people get married and shit, I waste a lot of fucking money on getting married, a lot of people buy houses and put name on fucking loans and share shit, I waste a lot of fucking time when they know, I don't want to be with this person, so yeah, I think I'm about to check out right now. 
getting a little late. Let me make me another drink. And y'all have a blessed night.